Good evening and greetings. I built a uh, coax cable jumper assembly. This is RGA coax with PL259 terminated connectors. And I thought I would show you the steps I go through to, to verify this cable is safe to plug into my equipment. But I have a history of not crimping and soldering my connectors correctly. So you need three things. You need a digital multimeter or an analog one. Um, you need a little jumper with alligator clips on the end. And you need a standard alligator clip jumper. So let's go through the steps of uh, testing the uh, DC resistance on this cable. And the first thing I'm going to do is take my little jumper and attach it to one end of the cable. Hopefully everything stays in focus. And I'm going to take my meter. And the first thing I want to do is check continuity and I'm going to say continuity but please do not use continuity on your meter use the resistance range so I'm going to look for continuity between the center conductor on each end of the cable and the shield on each end of the cable so I'm going to first thing I'll do is I'll hook up across the cable and there's no short so this shows me the cable's not shorted and then I'll hopefully look for the center conductor uh, continuity on both ends of the cable and that's good and then I'll check for continuity on the shield and that's good now the next step I do I feel is very important um, I'm going to try to see if there's intermittent opens and shorts and, uh, from when I terminated the connector into the cable and I'm going to use my little jumper cable assembly with the alligator clips and attach my meter. You can see it reads open. So I'm going to take each end and just emulate like hooking up the connector, just seeing if there's a short. There's nothing on that end. And nothing on that end. Then I take my jumper. Now I'm going to see if there's an open, an intermittent open. So I have a short. So then I just come over here and I just move it around some. And I do the same thing here. And that's good. So I'm lucky <laughs> so far. So what I've done is I've checked that there's no open and short uh, due to the uh, assembly of the uh, connectors onto the cable. There's continuity between the center conductor and the outer shield. So hopefully I can hook this up and at a minimum I won't do any damage to my equipment. So I hope this video helped and I wish you the best. See ya.